and Mikey. I'm so sorry, Mia. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I I should have stayed for the funeral. Oh, I didn't hit you. I had things I had to do. How's New York treating you? Fine, just fine. Look. It's okay. I get it. I guess. It was a lot to go through and you guys were like brothers. I was thinking of the time we went to Mardi Gras together and Jake insisted that women showing their boobs to get beads was sexist. So he got those fake boobs and all the chicks started giving him the beads they earned. My abuela used to say that some people had this inborn gift, you know. They touched the life of everyone in me in special ways. He was like that, wasn't he? Yeah. I had to compete with that most of my life. <laughs> you know, once uh, Jake and I we stole Ma's car and went down to the lake to get drunk, we saw an animal lying on the side of the street. Jake insisted that we stop and look at it. It was a bloody skunk. Pun intended. He insisted that we take it home and tend to it, so that's what we did. When it finally healed, that thing skunked me so hard. <laughs> I couldn't get the smell out for weeks. And, and did I mention that was the week I had my date with Jenny Lee? I was so mad at Jake. I mean, he did try to talk to her, but she did not believe that someone would have a pet skunk. So much, Mikey. It's like I'm angry all the time. Where is the fairness in someone I came dying so early? It's like I can't live in this apartment because everything reminds me of him. It's almost as if someone tied this heavy weight to my chest. If and if, if I were to swim, I'd probably drown. Yeah. 